In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. A look now at the starting lineups for both teams. This could be a terrific game. We've got two of the most up-tempo teams in the league. All right, these are my favorite types of games. They're very similar in terms of style, and it's not just about uh, running the floor. It's about defensive intensity, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so often, these battles between fast-paced teams boil down to who plays better transition defense. Now Brown. To the paint. Here's Hamby. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. What a feed by Brown. An off guard maybe by position, by trade. Her uh, passing abilities get better each year in the league. Now here's McBride. Outside Miller. The screen by Collier. Pass to McBride. Smith left side. It's stolen by Hamby. Brown, McBride covering. Now here's Brown, guarded closely. Nurse, count the basket. That's where the six foot frame of Nurse comes in handy. She can take a hit as a taller guard and complete the play. Now here's McBride. The screen by Collier. McBride outside. Smith left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to McBride. Over Clarendon. McBride misses. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. And it's McBride with the foul. That's her first foul. First personal foul. Team's first. First team foul. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. From past the arc, and the basket by Brown. Such a consistent, reliable option from deep. Lexi Brown, top 10 in the WNBA in three-point shooting during the 2019 campaign. Now here's McBride. Outside Miller. Pass to McBride. Smith, right side. There's the steal. Here's Clarendon. Now Hamby. And the foul called on Collier. That is her first foul of the game. Second team foul. Outside Clarendon. To the inside. And she banks in the layup. With a rare combination of 6 3 height and fluid movements, Hamby can move with ease. Tough cover on the pick and roll. Now here's McBride. Outside Miller. Pass to McBride. Clock at six. Smith left side. First shot, first basket. Here's Clarendon. Here's Brown. And here is Nurse. This one for three. It's hauled in by the Lynx. McBride outside. 
Pass to Collier. Over Hamby. Hits the jump hook. Always looking for holes in the defense. It's McBride's recognition that allows her to slice up any defensive scheme. Now here's Clarendon. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. First outside. Hamby sets a screen. The basket drops, and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. And Nurse is a gamer. She's someone that knows how to absorb contact on the way up. She's getting her first free throw attempt of the game here. Okay, let's take a look at your crystal balls. Uh, what's next for the WNBA, guys? Expansion is the easy answer. More cities in the league, more players in the league. Well, I'm 100% with you. Looking at those roster cut lists in the preseason, you see so many talented players left off teams. We have the, the, the talent for more than 12 teams right now. Now here's Brown. Ambia screen. Baseline try. Oh. That one is off. The Lynx trailing. Outside Williams. Pass to Miller. Over Nurse. Cans the 12 footer. Gotta love the lack of hesitation. Miller doesn't even question the mid range look. And the Sparks time ball time here. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little Sparty. bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. Donald. She's guarded by Williams. Pass to Brown. And here's Heidemann. Here's Williams. And here's Heidemann. Six to shoot. It counts. And the Sparks with possession here. They lead by four. Pass to Brown. And now Jackson. Outside McDonald. Jackson. Shot clock at six. Free throw line jumper. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. There's the triple. The shot off that time. And that does it for the first quarter. Sparks ahead. Up six. Let's take a quick break and then it's on to the second quarter after this. The second quarter just getting set to begin. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Sparks. Guys? It's been a solid first half for them offensively, really in tune with each other. Yeah, good ball movement, and it's paid off on the scoreboard for sure. Ball queen with the ball. Pass to Carlton. Ball queen. K. 
Kicks it out to Collier. Just three to shoot, and the three ball is good. Just no hesitation going up with it. Collier's confidence is what allows her to drain quick shots. Here's Cook. Pass to Stevens. Nurse. Inside, McDonald. And it's Collier with the rebound. Boy, she made a mess of that finish. Ball queen. Takes the three. Good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. And you got to give uh, credit to Collier for the find. Her 6'2 height allows her to have a clean view of the court. Doesn't miss open teammates. Now here's McDonald. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And the Lynx making a change here. First team foul. Substitution on the court. Wing, Harry McDonald. Pass to Stevens. Chuck up two right there. Great trip down the floor. McDonald working it to an uncovered player. Smart basketball. So the Lynx now. Trailing by two. Collier outside. Miller. The screen by Collier. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Six on the shot clock. Pulls up. Here's Collier. It's hauled in by the Sparks. Nurse, left side, down low. Stevens. And she uses the glass on the layup. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's, it's pretty special for a young player. Now here's McBride. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Pass to Collier. Clarendon grabs the miss. Yeah, remember that. I mean, that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into this second quarter. Outside McDonald. Floats one up. Azaray Stevens got room. Here's Hamby. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. Tremendous work by Hamby winning the rebound. He puts it right back up to the bucket. Now here's Collier. He has five. Outside Miller. And stolen by Stevens. Now the Sparks moving it up. Pass to Hamby. Clarendon. Here's McDonald. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. And we know it. The name of the game is shooting. So who is the best current shooter in the league? Well, there's a lot of them. But I'm going with someone from France. Marine Johannes, she, she can shoot the lights out. Oh, come on. I like her too, but I got to go with EDD, Elena Deladon. She can make those tough ones. And part of the equation is her height. It allows Deladon to get off clean looks. A lottery pick by the Atlanta Dream in 2021. Ari McDonald, an exciting player in this league. Here's Carlton. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. It's intercepted. Pushing it up. Here's McDonald. Good work there as it goes. A blur going down the court. McDonald completes the break. Now a timeout time called time by Minnesota. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. Here's 
ride. Pass to Miller. Nick ride. From the high post, she drills it. You love to see that offensive mindset from McBride, and fans are rarely disappointed with her intensity. Now here's Clarendon. From the baseline, Jackson gets the bucket. They've been playing very smart offensively in the first half. I think that's safe to say. The numbers support that. They're shooting much better percentage from the field. Let's see if they can keep it up. Here's Carlton. No scoring yet for Burr, but that's likely to change. Pass to McBride. Smith, five to shoot. Back to McBride. Over Clarendon, and it's Minnesota scoring again. I love how McBride is unafraid of making mistakes, and she really just plays her game and then will live with the results. Now here's Brown. And here's Jackson. Miller defending. She tries for three. Jackson gets the bucket. Now here's McBride. Pass to Miller. Carlton. There's a screen by Miller. Now here's McBride. Smith, right side. Now the Sparks moving it up. Let's the floater go. It's good, and she makes the first shot of the game. That's just what should happen off of the steal. Get it immediately in a transition. And that's the perfect time to do it. Those few seconds right after the turnover, there's no time for the defense to get organized. Absolutely, and well executed on the break. And so that's the end of the first half. Sparks ahead. They lead by 13. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Well, it's been a one-sided affair through the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. And here's McBride. Pass to Collier. Outside Miller. The screen by Collier. Get there, get there. And here's McBride. Five on the clock. Launches it. The shot comes out. And the Sparks with possession here. This is the most they've led by. 13 points. Pass to Collier. That falls. Great assist by Kayla McBride. Great to see her score inside. Collier is an all-around forward, capable of scoring in a variety of ways, including in the paint. Now here's Brown. Hamby sets a screen. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Sparks able to keep the ball here. Second half rolling along, about a minute played here. Four on the shot clock. Three, Kia Nurse gets a three-pointer to fall. 
the deep shooting of Nurse is very good. She took a giant step forward during her second season in 2019, part of why she made the all-star team. Now here's Miller. Pass to McBride. Smith left side. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Not going to go that time. Here's Brown. Bambi outside. Pass to Clarendon. Bambi a screen. With the floater. It's hauled in by Williams. Ride with the ball. Back to Williams. Miller. McBride. She's covered by Brown. Outside Williams. That three off the mark. And here are the Sparks now. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Outside Clarendon. Pass to Brown. Shoots over Williams. Offensive board. Bucket is good. That's not easy. Did you get bumped and still hit it like Handy? It's so hard to do. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Now Williams. Ride. Over Clarendon. And again, no good by Minnesota. Nurse outside. Now Brown. Back to Nurse. Shot clock at five. And so she earns a trip to the line. A official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. That's on Courtney Williams. And this is her second and third free throws tonight. And she knocks down the first one. Someone who fits nicely into the rotation. Nurse has a pretty good all-around game. And that's good as she hits both shots. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Courtney Williams for three. Gets it to go from downtown. It used to be a weakness of her game, but Williams has worked on three-point shooting, and her percentages have increased each year in the league. Pass to Nurse. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Kayla McBride. Now here's Williams. And she converts the layup. Used her strength to get in the post without much fight from the D. They need to do a better job next time and muscle up on her. I mean, that's just too easy. And the Sparks call time here. Link's making a switch here. And the Sparks with possession here. They led by as many as 18 points. Brown inside. Williams there. A basket by Brown. Showing she is more than just a shooter. Lexi Brown takes it inside for two. Pass to Miller. Carlton. There's a screen by Miller. McBride with the ball. Six to shoot. And stolen by Azare Stevens. Here's Jackson. Oh. And the shot count. She's fouled. That's a chance for a three-point play. 
Oh, we're seeing the shots dropping for them very well now. Yeah, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up to this point. Their coach has to be happy. And the free throw, no good. And here are the links now. 17-point game. Now here's Ball Queen, guarded by McDonald. Pass to Heidemann. Just five to shoot. The baseline J again, Minnesota. The mid-range jumper, it's a very high percentage shot for her when she has that much room to get it off. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And now Jackson, covered by Collier. Back to McDonald. Pass to Cook. Now Fisa Collier with some nice D. Out to the wing. High arcing shot. And that one's good. Heideman. Unselfish play by Collier. This team loves having him. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Sparks on top. They lead by 13. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. McDonald with it. Pass to Jackson. Hook. To the inside. McDonald. Ball clean with the rebound. Now the Lynx with it. Trailing by 13. Here's Carlton, defended by Nurse. Just four to shoot. Rebound by the Sparks. Here's McDonald. to Stevens. It's stolen by Ball Queen. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over one minute play. Off target with the three. And here's Cook. With some arc, and the shot goes down. And here are the links now. 15-point game. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Collier right side. Shoots over McDonald. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Now Cook. Pass to Stevens. Here's McDonald, covered by Collier. And that one drops. A good decision maker with a strong feel for the game. Stevens can spot open teammates whenever she's out on the court. Now here's Ball Queen. Collier outside, pass to Heidemann. Here's Carlton, defended by Nurse. And here's Collier. An easy two points on the layup. With a great feel for the game, Collier knows exactly when to release in the pick and roll. And confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. And the Sparks call time here.
outside Clarendon. Pass to Brown. Clock at six. Launches a three. And it's Collier with the rebound. Here's McBride. Back to Collier. Outside Miller. The screen by Collier. Now Smith. Pass to Collier. Over Clarendon. And it's Collier missing. Now here's Clarendon. Nurse outside. Rebound by the Lynx. Williams with it. Pass to McBride. Now here's Collier. The screen by Collier. And here's McBride. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Can score from anywhere on the court. And McBride has really taken on that alpha personality type. Now here's Clarendon. Nurse with it. Miller defending. And there's the foul. It'll be on Kia Nurse. That is her first foul of the game. Terrific defensive play. Cut her off. Squared up. Nice play. Yeah, and that's showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. Miller with it. Defended by Nurse. Outside Williams. Collier. Screen by Smith. Pulls up on the wing. And she comes up with the deuce. And if they want, they can milk the clock a little bit here. Great point, Blake. That'd be the best option. I'd agree. You should go. <laughs> now here's Nurse. Shoots over Miller. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. Just seven points here in the fourth. Inside. Smith, no good. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Down low. Ambi. That's good. And it's Asia Clarendon with the assist. Terrific run to put this ball game away. And now let's see just how much longer they keep that foot on the accelerator. They gotta keep it on the accelerator to the finish line. Now here's Miller. Pass to McBride. Shot clock at six. Back to Miller. Jacks up a three. Brown grabs the board. Here's Clarendon. And shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. For three, Kayla McBride cans it from downtown. Her assist average has increased each year in the league. Williams has become a more willing passer. Great five. And here's Clarendon. So it's the spark taking care of business in this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. It makes a big difference. You know, once they started to really play in a good flow, it felt like uh, they never had any doubts that they come out on top. And that's a wrap, everyone.